guys, it is just after 5.15. She has an eight o'clock match, but it's over two hours away, so we are up before the sun, and um, we are hitting the road. Hopefully we have everything that we need. Okay, having a teen athlete um, isn't always the easiest because there are a lot of early mornings, there are a lot of practices, there are a lot of tournaments, um, and with tennis, um, it happens a lot on the weekends. So we, this is another tennis weekend in which we are headed to the tournament. So um, we will see. There shouldn't be any traffic because it is Sunday, so we should have no problem getting there. At 5.18 in the morning. At 5.18. Okay, so we made it to the courts. Um, she slept a little bit on the way here. Um, they're very strict in this tournament um, for COVID safety precautions. Um, everybody has to wear a mask. Also, we didn't bring the boys with us this time because there's a very strict rule that there's only one parent or representative per player on the grounds. So I was the only one that could be, was able to come. Um, they had to stay at home this time um, and we have to wear a mask and she has to wear a mask to and from the court and they have their own set of tennis balls. Each player has their own set of three tennis balls. So when you're serving, you're going to use your own balls. You're not gonna to touch the other people's balls. Um, you can kick their balls, but you can't touch them. Um, so yeah, so we're here. Now we're here, we got here actually about 45 minutes early, so we have time while we just sit here. I have nothing to say. She made it. She's ready, she's pumped up. Yeah, let's see here. She's she's gonna dig deep. She's gonna. This is a really tricky, uh, not tricky, but hard tournament. So she is going to try her best, give it her all, and um, hope for the best. It's 7:30 in the morning on a Sunday, so um, not the easiest time to play tennis, I would say. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy. Especially when you wake before. Yeah, and she's so. keeping hydrated, so we're good. It's the first one I've had in two hours, but okay. No, and I, she has a sports mask. Where's your right? sports mask? Mm -hmm. Great, now she can't get out of the car. Oh, it's, it's up the there. It's, it's right there on the blanket. Oh. Okay, so this is her sports I have mask. Adidas sports mask. Yeah, she doesn't have to wear it while she's playing tennis, of course, but to and from the court. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Another thing is with this tournament, you have to bring your own chair. They have blacked off the benches so that they keep six feet or more apart. So she brought her own chair and um, yeah, she's ready to go. In tennis, they have a five minute warm up so they can you know, rally a little bit, do some, some practice serves and for an 8 a.m. match, that's actually really important. All the parents and the player representatives also have to wear masks while they're on the grounds at all times. So I am sitting here, I know I'm in a park or whatever, but they just wanna be extra safe with this tournament. Tennis is one of the most stressful sports for a parent to watch because not only is it a singular sport, which means that there's no team to fall back on and you know, um, blame if you're not doing well, but it is a silent sport, much like golf, where there's no clapping, there's no cheering. You just sit here and you just kind of bite your nails and, you know, clench your teeth and, you know, happy when they're winning and sad when they're losing, but there's absolutely no noise. As you can see, it's very quiet out here, um, very frowned upon, and actually not allowed to cheer against the other player, which I wouldn't do anyway, but very stressful for any parent um, of a tennis player. Another hard thing about this sport is that there's no coach when you go to tournaments. So you're on your own, there's no coaching, there's no helping, like I said, there's no cheering, there's no encouragement. Um, it's actually a very hard sport on athletes. 
um, especially teen athletes. You know, unlike soccer and football where there's a coach and, you know, helping you tweak things along the way, you are kind of out there to the wolves on your own. Okay, so here's the thing with this girl. She was very good at hitting the back line and um, that's hard she to get to. She the line every freaking time. Like, and, how do you do that? I wish. And there was a magic shot that she did that literally Savannah had it. She hit it and it bounced off the top of the net and over Savannah's head. It was sent from God. I'm, I'm oh, guaranteed. The gods aren't with me today. No. So, but definitely played a lot better um, today. It definitely hung in there. The girl, the player was a very good player. Um, we've She's played her before. Consistent. Yes. Which means she got her ball on every time if y'all don't play tennis. Yes, she got her ball on every time and in the corners, which is tricky for, for your opponent. On the line, the <laughs> line is in it. And that's like the top. Oh, she was very sweet point. though. She was very nice. Oh yes, very nice. Very nice. Um, because there are, you do come upon uh, opponents that are not nice. They're actually mm. very rude. Court next to me. Yeah, court next to her. They were swearing. She was like freaking out. Yes, she was losing, and I get the frustration, but she was yelling. There's no need to swear on the court. No, there isn't. Um, but uh, her opponent, Savannah's opponent, was very, very nice, very sweet. Um, you know, so that's at least good. She's brought lunch. It's a little after nine in the morning. She has lunch. <laughs> okay, so. That is, it's 9 a.m. and we are headed back. We have a two hour drive back home. Um, we just had one match today. Um, she did really good. She played really well. The other player was a very, very good player. We've played her before about, well, not we. <laughs> kind of. She has. Um, she played her about a year ago and um, she did much better against her this time. And so now we will be back before lunch to hit the pool. And yeah, that's kind of the morning. It started at what, 4.30 in the morning. Um, so definitely, a lot done already and it's barely nine o'clock so well, let's hit the and road yes we drag four hours for one match yes and yesterday was also four hours for one match but that's what you do as a teen athlete you go where the tournaments are and you play in the morning early and you you put in your time and that makes all the difference in the world <laughs>